HB5 fans, uh, this video is for you if you're trying to decide between what video editing program to use between the Adobe Premiere Pro and Cyberlink's PowerDirector. You might have used, say, free programs online or on your cell phone to do some basic video editing. And frankly, you can continue to do that. A lot of powerful programs exist free online that you don't really have to pay for. But if you want to move it up a notch, have some additional options and special effects and all of that, maybe you're thinking, okay, maybe I should get a paid program like Adobe Premiere Pro and Cyberlink's Power Director. So hopefully this video will help you decide. So let's start off understanding whether I have any sort of motive in this video or not. I don't. I'm not paid from, by anybody. I basically love video editing. I've used both programs. In full disclosure, I've used PowerDirector more than I've done Premiere Pro. Some of you guys out there who do a lot of video editing, you're probably saying, hold up, wait a minute. How can you compare anything to Premiere Pro? That's like the gold standard. It's, it's like, you know, professionals use that. Well, that might be true, but this video, I think, will help people understand that depending on what you want to do, one program may be better than the other. So let's start off simple. Both programs are... I think reasonably priced now. You can have access to both programs for a reasonable price, including a suite of other programs uh, that may be helpful as well. So for example, with Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, if you go that route, I strongly recommend also getting Adobe After Effects to be able to do cool uh, effects and graphics and other things. Uh, they also have Illustrator and a whole suite of other options depending on, you know, what specifically you want to do. So look that up. On the PowerDirector side, there's also a suite that comes with PowerDirector. You have Audio Director, you know, you have Photo Director, you have a number of other things that are helpful. Probably not as extensive as the Adobe products, but depending on what you want to do, will make the most sense for you. So you need to decide. Now the benefits I see with Premiere Pro, I admittedly am very impressed by it. It clearly is extremely powerful. What I found it most useful for is if you want to do uh, a lot of special, like intricate special effects where After Effects becomes more useful. So for example, if you're doing a lot of scenes involving green screens or backgrounds that you're going to want to cut out, I would say Premiere Pro with After Effects is the way to go. Now, PowerDirector does have options for green screens, but I would say that they're not as advanced as Premiere Pro. I was very impressed by how easily easy it was to take out backgrounds, not even just in front of a green screen, in After Effects. And then once you use After Effects, how easy and seamless it was to pull into Premiere Pro to edit into a larger video. So if you're thinking, I wanna do all this stuff with animation, with uh, you know uh, removing backgrounds and and layering uh, footage in that way, I would say you probably want to look at Premiere Pro. However, if you don't plan to do that much of that, if you are really looking at 
editing, and I won't even say basic videos. PowerDirector is very impressive. It has a lot of effects. It has a lot of capabilities. Those of you who use a lot of keyframes, the keyframes are really easy to use. Um, it's in a very advanced program in that regard. And I use it for most of the stuff that I do. And I think a large piece of that is what my focus tends to be. My focus is music videos. I do music videos for my church, for groups, music groups that I'm in. And for that purpose, hands down, I prefer CyberLink Power Director. And here's why. When you're dealing with music videos, very often you are dealing with a pre-mixed audio for your video. You know, you, my group, you know, we record our, our playing, our instruments, our singing. We have someone mix the audio separate from the video. So when you're editing the video, you're trying to align someone, a video of someone singing or playing or dancing to that separate audio. And there's two things that bother me about uh, Premiere Pro, and they both relate to the interface. As I said, the, the interface seems cluttered. You, you do probably need more than one screen. But when you are trying to sync audio, you really sometimes, at least for me, and maybe I'm getting old, you're wanting to zoom in and see that audio sometimes down to each wave in the audio file. And I found that very difficult to do, do uh, on Premiere Pro. Secondly, you oftentimes want to be able to go back and forth and manipulate both the audio, adjust the audio with the video pieces. And if you see here in Adobe Premiere Pro, when you pull in a video clip or an audio clip, all the video pieces go up here and the audio pieces go down here. And it can be very confusing when you're trying to sync the audio with the visuals that you're working on and trying to keep track of what audio goes with what. Um, when I'm syncing, I like to keep the original audio of the video files in there because sometimes it helps me to sync with the mastered audio. And then towards the end, I just cut out all the audio that's not supposed to be in there. Um, but it really is not user friendly when you are trying to do uh, that type of syncing with audio and, and, and video clips, at least from my experience, as opposed to Premiere Pro, excuse me, as opposed to Cyberlink's Power Director, where it's more clearly this audio clip goes with this vid video clip. And if you need to manipulate things, uh, they're more, they're closer together. They're easier to sync the way at, that you want with the audio, et cetera. The other thing that I like about PowerDirector is that separately, it has Audio Director, which is like its own, you know, recording program with multiple tracks, et cetera. You know, if you if you want to use it to sort of record your song and mix your song, you can do that and bring it into uh, into uh, Power Director. And Power Director itself also has things like you know the Wave Editor, so that you can do fine tuning of your audio and all of that. So at the end of the day, it's up to you. Continue to use those free programs online. There's, as I said before, there's a lot of powerful ones out there. But if you are looking at a paid program, I don't think you can go wrong with either Adobe Premiere Pro. My recommendation is that if you go that way, you also get, make sure you at least get Adobe After Effects um, and probably Photoshop as well. 
Um, and you won't go wrong with Cyberly Power Director unless you are looking at doing a lot of things that really um, would be best done through something like After Effects. But at the end of the day, I hope this video helps you. Good luck in your video editing and feel free to leave a comment if you have questions or if you have thoughts or preferences on either of these programs or other programs. Thanks for joining HP5 Studio. I'm signing out.